Hello there, people of the internet. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Today I'm doing a collaboration video with a few different channels, including who I have not collaborated with them before, before, Hobo Factory, Blind Sniper, and the Joe Morgan Eat My Shorts channel. Now, the Joe Morgan Eats My Shorts channel is currently in contention with Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Geary Gunderson to see which channel name I prefer the most. Now, that being said, first I'm going to talk about what I believe is my favorite cartridge, and then I'm going to move on to what is the most practical cartridge, in my opinion. Okay, so first on my favorite, and I'm going to do a few that I think are in the contention, and then the one that is, of course, the most favorite. If you know the name of the channel, you might have a little bit of a spoiler alert. But first one that I think is one of my favorites is 9mm. This is my CZ P09. I just put this TLR1 streamlight on it. So let's take some shots. It took me enough tries to hit that second bowling pin. As you can tell, I'm still working with that handgun. So number one of one of my favorites is nine millimeter. I absolutely love nine millimeter. I think it's so much fun. Hello, I'm sorry to appear before you in such casual clothing, but while I was editing this video, I noticed something I missed. So I thought I would just show up with what I was wearing. Now I realized that my actual favorite pistol cartridge is nine millimeter Makarov. Uh, 9mm Makarov is a really fun cartridge to shoot. The gun that I have in it is my CZ82, which is, in my opinion, uh, probably the handgun I am the most accurate with. The trigger on it is really nice. Um, the recoil is sharp, but it is still a really cool handgun. 9mm Makarov is less powerful than standard 9mm, but more powerful than 380 and cooler than both. Alright, now let's get back to the rest of the video. Another one of my favorites that I wanted to talk about today is 223 and 556. I love these guns. You know I love my retro rifles. And the M16A1 hasn't been on the channel in a bit. I've been doing a whole lot of shooting with that uh, police trade-in Rock River Arms, so I haven't brought this out recently. But let's take some shots with this as well. What a cool rifle. I absolutely love this M16. If you've shot a lot of ARs in the past, this one with the 20 inch barrel and the uh, rifle length gas system, also the rifle length buffer, shoots really smooth. This is an absolutely cool gun and 223 and 556 are absolutely cool cartridges. Now, a few other cartridges that are in the running for my favorite, and I didn't take, uh, I didn't take rifles for these today. They, I just took some rounds so you could see them. But the first one would be 762 by 54 r most of what I have is corrosive, and I didn't want to have to clean a second gun uh, with corrosive ammo. So, you can see right there, 7.62x54R. It was the Russian rifle in the Mosin Nagant, um, the PSLs, a few other just random guns. Um, but the Mosin Nagant in the United States is the one that's it, most famous for it. And I love shooting my Mosins. If you've seen my series comparing Mosin Nagants to Mausers and Lee Enfields to everything else, you know that I am a big fan of the Mosin Nagant. I am a big fan of the 762 by 54 r cartridge. They're just really neat guns, and it's a really neat cartridge. It has a lot of stopping power, and it is the uh, longest-serving military cartridge in modern history. It came into use in 1891 with the Mosin Nagant 9130. There's a lot of bugs out here today. And it uh, is still being used today in the Russian war in Ukraine by both sides in sniper rifles, in heavy machine guns, and we've even seen some Mosins make it to the front lines. So, really long-serving military cartridge. I absolutely love the cartridge. It's just really cool. The other cartridge I'd like to talk about, the last one before we talk about my actual favorite cartridge, is 7.62x51. I love shooting 7.62x51 or 308. My One of my favorite guns for 7.62x51 is the Ishapur 2A1, which is an Indian version of the Lee Enfield. What I like about this is that I really like my old mill serps, and uh, you can get Millsurp guns and old guns that are in this caliber. So you can get the feel of shooting those really old rifles, but you don't need to shoot really old ammo. The ammo is a lot higher quality, and it's a lot easier to get really anywhere. Okay, now, that being said, let's talk about my actual favorite rifle cartridge. If you know the name of the channel, shouldn't be too surprising. 8mm Mauser, 7.92 by 57 
Eight millimeter was the German cartridge in World War I, World War II, and it's been used in all sorts of conflicts all around the world. It is a very interesting cartridge historically, and uh, I actually had a viewer give me a whole uh, couple uh, rounds of ammo to shoot. So this is Egyptian eight millimeter. There's a highway back there. I need to keep pausing for the noise. Most of the eight millimeter that you will find today is uh, surplus, although you can get modern production ammo. It's just a lot more expensive. You can also get really good surplus, but the surplus I have today is not that great. So I might have some duds and hang fires. We'll just need to see how they shoot. I'm just trying to get rid of it. Now, I wanted to ask for your guys' opinion about something. We're going to shoot this through my Yugoslavian 8mm Mauser uh, M44, sorry, M2447. I really like this rifle quite a bit. Um, but this I shoot all the time on the channel. I use it for all of my 8mm testing videos. So if you have any good ideas for names for this particular rifle, uh, please let me know. Now, don't name it after a porn star. I know some channels do that. Uh, porn is cringe. Stay away from it. The reason porn is free is because you pay with your soul. So don't name it after anything like that. Instead, come up with a cool name. But let's shoot at some of these bowling pins with this rifle. I love seeing how fast the bowling pins fall over with this rifle versus the 5.56. This thing just hits them like a horse. This is such a cool gun. So, not surprising. My favorite cartridge is 8mm Mauser. That's why it's the name of the channel. I had shot Millsurps in the past. I had shot a lot of guns in the past. I bought this gun and I fell in love. Now, before we talk about the most practical cartridge, let me go clean my bowling pins up. Okay, now for the most practical cartridge, I have my bowling pins set up again and I have a lot more guns to shoot. However, I do not have a rifle today and 7.62x51. So I would put 7.62x51 in a very practical cartridge list. Uh, it's very easy to find ammo for these. It's very easy to find guns for these. They can take most game in North America, and you can find very potent defensive rifles in them. So one of the most practical cartridges, in my opinion, is 7.62x51, but I would personally get a rifle in 308 that can shoot both cartridges. Okay, now, originally when I thought about this video, I thought we were just going to do rifle cartridges. However, one of the things we talked about was doing every cartridge in existence. So I feel like one of the most practical cartridges we can talk about is 12 gauge. The reason why 12 gauge is such a practical cartridge, and uh, you've probably seen these before, but this is what a 12 gauge shell looks like, is because you can find so much different ammo. You can get slugs, buckshot, I'm just shooting birdshot today, uh, some really light loaded target ammo because this is a really old shotgun. This is a Stevens 520. Uh, I believe these stopped being produ produced in 1919, but it may have been 1929. I've kind of found conflicting data on that. But uh, I really like old shotguns, really like 12 gauge. And uh, this one is really cool. This is actually, I think, probably the newest to me gun that I own. So 12 gauge, in my opinion, is one of the most practical cartridges because you can shoot slugs out to about 100 yards. You can shoot buckshot, which is good for home defense. It's good for uh, bucks and different animals in different conditions. And birdshot, which is good for birds and bowling pins. All right, so this gun is uh, really, really cool. Still haven't shot it much, just making sure the barrel doesn't get loose, which would be a sign that this gun is a little bit worn out. That was really fun, let's shoot it again. We have five bowling pins left. This gun holds five in the tube. Now, if you've shot a lot of 12 gauge in the past, this gun loads a little bit different, which is kind of cool. Let me open this up. So normally the shells would be stopped somewhere inside of the tube, like right there. 
However, this one, the lifter is actually what stops the shells from coming out. So you press the lifter in and then push it forward to load. It's really interesting. Wow, that is really, really cool. I like this shotgun quite a bit. Although it is old and it is having a couple problems, but that's probably something we just gotta sort out from uh, working on it a little bit. One of the other problems about this video being about the most practical cartridge and not just the most practical rifle cartridge is that we need to consider pistol cartridges. And I believe the most practical pistol cartridge would be uh, nine millimeter. And the reason for that is because nine millimeter comes in uh, handguns all the way down to stuff like Ruger LCRs, which are the size of about of a Smith & Wesson J-frame, if not a little bit smaller, all the way up to this CZ P09, which is a full-sized handgun, everything in between there. And you can even find uh, rifles chambered in 9mm. So if you worded the question slightly different to if I could only have one cartridge, what would it be? It would be 9mm because with 9mm uh, rifles, you can shoot really comfortably out to about 200 yards. And if you need to get close for your concealed carry gun or for something like this that I want to have exposed, it's not that hard to uh, do something like this with it. So let's shoot nine millimeter again. Let me go set up my bowling pins. All right, well, I just got one bowling pin down, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm still getting used to this handgun. I uh, bought a whole lot of ammo to shoot, so we're gonna try and figure that out maybe while I'm at the range today. One of the more practical rifle cartridges is 223 and 556 for a number of reasons. One, it is a very powerful and potent defensive cartridge, and with the proper ammunition, it is very good for that use. People use it for home defense. People use it for working on their ranch or something like that. Uh, it's just an all-around pretty good cartridge for that. Also, it can take up to white-tailed deer and probably even higher with proper shot placement, uh, but I probably wouldn't use it on much more than a coyote or a whitetail, unless I had no other option, of course. If I was looking for a perfect, like, uh, Tia Tawaki or SHTF or uh, Pocky Lips type uh, cartridge, I would be pretty pressed to find one better than 5.56. You can carry a lot on you. It's very common in the United States. And it's just a really solid cartridge. But I would not say it is the most practical cartridge. However, it is still fun to shoot. I don't think that inaccuracy is just me. I think this ammo shoots a little bit off with this gun. Now, maybe that's a cope, I don't know, but I'm normally better with this gun. By the way, if you're new to this channel and you came from one of the other channel's recommendations, welcome, very glad you're here. Now, that being said, much of what I do is ammunition reviews, and that's why I was shooting an ammo in my M16 that uh, I'm not sure it's zeroed with. And that's because, well, I'm doing a review of that ammo and I wanted to test it in the gun, make sure it was reliable, that kind of thing. It was a really cheap steel case, and sometimes that gun has issues with really cheap steel case because it's not overgassed. Okay, now, that being said, and I might get some hate for this, in my opinion, the most practical cartridge for most people is 22 long rifle. Now, you might be a 22 hater, and uh, that is okay. I still want you here. But the reason I say 22 long rifle is partially in memory of my grandfather. So recently I went to see my grandmother. Uh, my grandpa passed away a few years ago. And while I was there, I looked over his guns. He was a farmer for many years. 
longer than I've been alive. And the gun that he carried in his combine with him, the gun that he always had with him in his truck if he was going anywhere, was a 22 long rifle, not very dissimilar from this Marlin Model 60. It was a Mossberg 550, I think, but don't quote me on that. Now, the reason why that was his go-to gun was because he wasn't necessarily worried about, oh, well, what if the pocky lips happens and somebody comes to try and steal my corn? Or, you know, what if some guy breaks in at 3 a.m.? He was a farmer. What he was most worried about was, uh, what if a possum tries to get the chickens or a coyote tries to get the chickens? Or, or uh, what if a rabbit is trying to get to uh, eight, millimeters or eight millimeter mouse or grandma's carrots or something like that? So he had a 22 long rifle that he used for everything. Well, I was talking to my grandma about this. She talked about him in his underwear, uh, shooting rabbits out th through the window uh, in her garden. So grandpa used a 22 long rifle for everything. For a lot of people, I think 22 long rifle is the most practical cartridge that they will use most often for most things. I personally am not a farmer, but if I ever needed to take out a rabbit, this would be the gun I would go to, or my other 22, which is a Savage Model 64, 94. I always get those switched around. All right, now that being said, let's shoot some bowling pins. Nine pins, 10 hits, because one of them ricocheted and didn't knock it over. Now, the downside of 22 long rifle is that, to be honest, it is underpowered. Uh, this is not a rifle that I would want if a person was trying to hurt me or my family. That is a major downside of 22 long rifle. However, one advantage is, yes, it is low powered, but it is also low recoiling. If somebody came into a uh, house or something like that and was trying to hurt uh, my family or friends or trying to steal my uh, roommate's books, I feel confident that I could put 18 rounds on target very, very fast with this gun because it can shoot quickly because it is so low recoiling. Now, I still wouldn't use it uh, primarily for that purpose, but let's say I had a friend who was not a gun person at all and the only time they would go out to shoot was when I invited them out and they needed the gun to protect themselves. Other than the reliability issues with this one because it's older, this wouldn't really be the worst choice because of that rapid fire ease of shoot. Um, if they didn't want to spend a lot of money on the gun or the ammo itself, this would be an easy one for that. So I think that the most practical cartridge is 22 long rifle. However, I do want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you like? What do you not like? Or do you think there's something better? What would you say is your favorite cartridge, even if it's not very practical, like my 8mm Mauser? Another favorite cartridge of mine that I don't actually own, but I would like to someday, is a 350 Legend. I just think it's kind of cool that they took a 5.56 and made it straight walled, and it's basically just a really powerful 9mm. Now, all of that being said, I am 8mm Mauser Man, and I really like my 22. I also really like all of my other guns, but I lived on. Which proves it's hard to get the best of a man named John. Name John. Name John.